Solar radiation is converted into thermal radiation depending on the nature of the surface. The ground under forests remains cool. Intensively used agricultural land and concrete surfaces without shade heat up the atmosphere like a stovetop. The more greenhouse gases we have in the atmosphere, more precisely in the troposphere, the less heat is emitted. The troposphere's height increases. A higher tropopause over flat and overheated land makes thunderstorms and tornadoes more powerful and destructive. The polar regions and mid-latitudes are heating up at an even faster rate than the already warm tropics. Warming is particularly intense over vast land areas. Our global air circulation is driven by the temperature difference between the tropics and the polar regions. This difference is now getting smaller and smaller, so the whole circulation is weakening and literally going crazy. There have been three main consequences of this. In summer, subtropical hot air migrates unhindered from south to north. As a result, increasingly extreme heat waves and prolonged droughts occur in previously temperate climate zones. Because of this, the number and the size of forest fires in these areas is increasing. In the past, the weather situation changed every few days. Today, it can remain in one place for several weeks. As a result, some areas receive no rainfall for a long time, while others receive far too much. In winter, the weakening of the polar cold air cell brings freezing polar air from the far north directly to the south. This leads to icy weather conditions in areas that are entirely unprepared for them. More and more CO2 as thermal insulation, combined with surface overheating due to increasing sealing and building on the surface, creates a perfect stage for extreme weather events. While the world needs to become carbon neutral, we also need to become surface temperature neutral at the local level.